Hey yo, it's Mr. O from Music Hands. We're gonna continue learning all about the drums inside GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad. We're gonna be looking specifically at the virtual drummer today. We've already looked at the sequencer and the live play drums. We wanna learn everything about drums inside GarageBand iOS. So we're gonna jump straight in and get making. Okay, here we are inside GarageBand. You might have your iPad or your iPhone. Feel free to pause if you want to have a little explore yourself. But let's get straight in. So within the virtual drummer, we now have a number of different patches. You'll see Apple have added a percussion pack along with the electronic and the acoustic drums. And we now have 15 different acoustic drummers. That's a large increase from when GarageBand was first released. And the electronic drummer, we have five in there. Percussion pack, I think it's particularly cool because now we've got a little bit of Latin percussion that we can modify and change. So shall we just take a look through one of our drummers? I think uh, I'm going to have a look down here for Benny. I think he had some pretty cool grooves. I'll tap the question mark icon to quickly show you how it works. You can choose your drummer in the center. You can modify your patterns played on the various parts of the kit over on the right hand side here. The center where the drum kit is, you can select whether you want the drum kit to play or not. You can change the fills, how many additional complex rhythms the drummer is going to add in. And over here, just like uh, the other programmable drums, you can make it loud, complex, soft, simple, and of course, adding some swing at the bottom. So let me quickly program a beat. So I could quickly create a preset. Okay, we all like that beat, don't we? The funky drummer style beat. Take out my snare. You get how this works? Add in some tambourines and shakers. I might want to change my hi-hat pattern. Nice 16th note sounding pattern there. Or my kick and snare pattern. And I'm going to take my fill out there. You heard that little fill at place at the end. You can actually see the waveform or the MIDI change at the top of the page. That's quite a cool beat. Let's try and make it a variation, slightly more simple. See how this works? Really straightforward and quick way to program some drums. Okay, I'm going to make my rhythm a little bit smaller, just two bars there. I'm pretty happy with that, that's got a good groove to it. One cool aspect of the virtual drummer, if I now take this rhythm, I can apply this rhythm to any of the other drummers. So if I want that rhythm to be played in an indie rock style by Gavin, so Gavin's doing his version or variation of that custom beat I've just made. How about by a metal or rock drummer. And that little hack works when you're inside a given patch. So if I'm in an electronic drum beat and I make my own rhythm in here, If I now change my electronic drummer, it's going to apply that rhythm or that style onto the drummer's take. But notice it only works within the patch, so the percussion ones will work within them, the electronic will work within them. You can't take a custom from the percussion to the electronic or the electronic to the acoustic. 
but I do think that is a pretty cool little hack. So let's get this beat going again. Okay, so another way to use the virtual drummer is to create drum arrangements. So I've got quite a cool beat here, but I might want to make a variation somewhere in my song. So I'm going to add another section. Let me just duplicate this and I'll tap all sections. So now I'll be able to see my drums progressing from the first section into section two. And I'm just going to change section two slightly. Notice I added a fill in there and I'll also make it slightly more complex. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll take my hats down to just eighth note hats in that first A section. Cool. So that's for me a really useful uh, application of this virtual drummer. What I would often do now as a final thing is to add in a second drum track. I'm gonna add in a percussion drum track along with my first. It's maybe a bit complex. That's pretty cool. I think I'll take my fills out. And I'll just show you what I've got now. So I've got two drummer tracks, one playing percussion, one playing a groove. And it might be that within one of the sections, I even drop something out so the percussion stands out a bit. And then I would work through my track, adding and taking away different variations to make my drums interesting. And of course, as we looked at within the first couple of videos, we can apply some of our effects, compression, and our uh, plugins to make our drums sound even more interesting. So that's the virtual drummer. Have you got a favorite drummer? Is there something that you like specifically about drums and garage band? Let me know in the comments. See you next time. All right, there we go. Our third session looking at drums inside GarageBand. We've covered the sequencer, we've looked at live play drums, and now the virtual drummer or programmable drummer. Hopefully you're making even better beats than you were before. We've got one more session to finish looking at drums inside GarageBand before we go on to another feature of the software. Thanks to those of you who've given a like or a comment or subscribe. Tell me what you think. Sequencer, live play drums, or the virtual drummer, which is best for making drums and why? What's your thoughts? Catch you next time. Peace.